guess it's time to try this skirt on and see if I am going to have something for Galaxy Con. This doesn't work. I swear, I'm just going to grab a fucking white sheet, wrap that and some rope around me, and I'm going to go with this little mermaid. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it looks like a fucking tarp, huh? It doesn't seem like it's going to be too small, though, so uh guess I'm going to go ahead and sew it. And I'll try it on before I do the fucking darts. But... So far so good, I guess. Sorry if it comes out ugly and uh, you guys shield your eyes. You guys have already seen that I made most of my uh, mermaid skirt so far. Um, but I decided kind of last second also that I wanted to do a bag that goes with it. And basically I'm going to be doing this little mermaid bag that she has when she's like collecting the treasures. I've already got it technically finished, but I'm going to kind of tweak a little bit of the stuff and make it nicer. So I'll show you what I have so far and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do to it. So this is the bag so far and yeah it, it is actually finished and a bag currently. I did this maybe in like 30 minutes. I did it pretty fast and you can tell because um, I didn't actually finish my edges. I'm going to stitch rip most of this whole thing back open and then I'm going to add a liner in it and then I'm going to finish the edge. And then I'm going to make probably a zipper on there as well. So I'm going to put the liner in so that way, like, it's pretty sturdy and I think it'll be fine to hold my stuff. But it also doesn't hurt to add a second layer in there. And I think it'll look nicer and that will let me be able to easily tuck those in um, and finish those edges. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and get started on. So this, this is going to be the moment of truth of whether or not this zipper is going to stay on here. Because if it's messed up, I'm going to stitch rip it out and just be done with that. I've never put in a zipper before, so this is the first time for that too. And I must say, it's looking great. Hey, look at that. It's not perfect because I couldn't get in there to like sew this down all the way. Or on this side, it's even worse. But yeah, look. Ta da! So, turns out that uh, the fabric I had to order for the back half of my skirt. It was supposed to come in today, which is the day before I leave for my trip. And here it is, 10 o'clock at night, and it's still not here. But basically, I had to go to Walmart to try to find some fabric. And the closest thing they had to something that would work is this fabric right here. Which, I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but it's a very stiff fabric. But it also is full of glitter that just keeps going everywhere. So hopefully, I guess, maybe the fabric can come in in the morning and I'll have a not shit mermaid skirt. But this is apparently what I'm going to have to go with if that doesn't decide to come in last minute. So, And that's also if I then have enough time to sew it in the morning. I guess I'll go ahead and finish cutting this out, sew it together, and see how it looks. 
Hopefully it looks good because this might be what I'm stuck with for my Little Mermaid costume. But I guess whenever the fabric for the actual one that I was wanting to do comes in, maybe I could go ahead and still make that and show you what it was supposed to look like. And then I'll show you what I had to wear potentially instead. So I'll check back in, in a little bit, probably when it's done because I, I just don't even care to show you what's going on now. <laughs> no, 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 don't get on me. See all that oh, glitter. <laughs> no, you're already covered in glitter. Alright, so I haven't really said a whole lot about um, me being on a trip again to go see my friend in North Carolina. Uh, she was in a previous video. Anywho, um, I'm in the middle of the drive down there. I have, I think, about five hours to go. And I just took kind of a scenic route out of the way because they have a Taco John's out here. And I know we have some kind of close to where I live, but not close enough to where I'm going to go there regularly or honestly ever because I've never had it. So anyways, I took a bit of a scenic route out of my way to try Taco John's. So I ordered a handful of different things just so I could kind of get a full experience of their menu. So, uh, let's see what we got, I guess. Okay, so I ordered some Mexican donut bites. I'm kind of an easy sell, so when they're like, would you like to try a, yeah, yeah, I would. And of course, apparently their side is freaking uh, little hash browns, which I'm not a big fan of hash browns, so. It's a whole lot of hash browns I gotta eat. Let's see. What is this? I think this is a chicken burrito. I think that's what I got. No, get off of my burrito hair. It's just mine, so it's not that big of a deal. Even though it looks like there's a fucking shedding dog in this hair. <laughs> shedding dog in this car. so happy when these things are off hopefully by the end of the year okay all I like really have this or have to compare this to is Taco Bell and I've heard a lot of people like this more than Taco Bell that sauce is fucking good though Ooh, they smell good. They smell like cinnamon. It's hard to go wrong with cinnamon. Ugh. This just made everything all better. I'll definitely be finishing these. The key to my heart is cinnamon. So I guess I'll finish these and just get back on the road. Five hours to go, BB.
literally everywhere. So me and Raylene are playing the Jumanji board game. Basically you roll, you get your placement on the board, and then you put a card into this thing here. And so you get challenges on the back of the riddles. And this one is, a group of marauders are attacking you, but little do they know, you're a black belt in dance karate. Show us how you'd use your dance karate moves to knock out six unwitting marauders. So she's looking for music. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Hulk's gonna help me here. He's gonna hit him with a bowl. Yep. There's one. Right here. <laughs> Perfect. I think we survived. So toothy is its smile, you'll want to run a country mile. No, we won't. <laughs> lion? You yeah. This might be the lion? Sounds like it. Wading through the mire, you spot a dark mound. You quicken your pace as a, oh, a hippo! A hippo springs from the water, defending its territory. This is the one that, um, in the second movie, ate Jack Black, I think? I think it was Jack Black that got eaten by a hippo. Um, use your imagination to tell a story of how you escaped the hippo. 
gather at least two props from the room you're in <laughs> nice. to bring into your store. You're getting all the fun ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, what do you got? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and and this is a real chainsaw in this scenario. Oh yes. <laughs> it's not a crocheted one. <laughs> all, right, all right, second prop. I guess I'll go over the hat now because I don't fucking need a damn. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a short story. All right. I found the chainsaw hidden behind a tree. And this hippo just jumps out of the water at me, and I just saw his head right off. <laughs> <laughs> Chainsaw, fuckers! <laughs> so the card that Alicia drew says, The crevice needs... It's not a crevasse, it's a crevice. The crevice needs jumping. Fall down now, and you'll be weeping. So, the back of the card reads, The ground is cracked and your path is divided on either side of a large chasm. You have to jump to continue your journey. The tallest person in the group, hello, <laughs> stands to the side with arms stretched. The distance between their hands is the size of the chasm. Can you jump the distance and make it to safety without losing a life? So, we're going to take some kitchen towels and she's going to spread them out, spread her arms out, and then drop the towels. And then we have to jump across... The chasm. All right, are we ready? With the dangerous animals beneath. Yeah, there's sharks. And sharks! Okay, go. Let me toss these over the gorge. <laughs> I got, like, no path. To, uh, I don't even know if I can do <sighs> Hulk says he can make it. Look. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. Come here, Hulk. Hulk, Hulk, Hulk. Come here. Get out of the way. <laughs> I need a running. Uh, Natty's like, hey, what you doing? Alright, I'm gonna try it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I you had my arm, so I, I think I would have been No, because your, your leg went down. <laughs> yeah, because I went here, but I could have grabbed a hole. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. So, if I would have made it, judges are out on that, it would have been by a hair. I, I don't think that I'm going to be able to make it, honestly. <laughs> like, well, I think the problem's also we don't have a running start. <laughs> Oh my God, gonna be all come, here. Way. <laughs> come here, come here, Maddie. Oh, come here, right. come here. One, two. Oh, <laughs> oh you guys are about the same. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that kinda again. Hurt a little bit. <laughs> well, you also have an injury <laughs> prior to this. Oh, yeah, that got us done. <laughs> but yeah, the judges are out. You guys will have to let us know if you think we died or not. Oh. <laughs> You're inspired after seeing a giraffe eating fruit from the top of a tree. You decide to try your hand at foraging above the jungle canopy. The tallest member of the group <laughs> must hold a snack out of your reach while you imitate the giraffe's eating habits. So I, Alicia's gonna have to hold something up above her head. A honey bun! <laughs> <laughs> Can't even see the honey bun in the Do picture. I need to lower my tree ranch? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Now let's test what this would actually look like if I held it above my head. Let me have to turn it up. We have to tilt it. Like, look at this fucking thing. Look at, look at this. And then you could even just open it while you're up there with your team. <laughs> you throw a rope across a chasm and miraculously it can it secures itself to a tree. Now you need to cross it. Stand on one side of the room with your eyes closed. Walk heel to toe across the room without falling over or touching anything with your hands. Your teammates can guide you, but if you fall, you lose. I was definitely pleased that I don't have to do this. It's just her. Yeah. <laughs> I've got bad balance. Let me take my... I might as well not even be ready. I, I just left mine off. Mine are still sitting in the in the living room right there. All right. Follow the sound of my voice. All right. Heel to toe. And go. I know there wasn't... <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. A little bit to your left little to the left. There's a Hulk in front of you. 
<laughs> Hulk. Hulk, come here, Hulk. Little left, little left, little left. Well, I can touch stuff with my legs. Okay. Ugh. I just didn't want you to trip over the couch. <laughs> Doing good. You're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Keep going. It's almost there. <laughs> Almost there. Follow the sound of my voice. Like two or three more steps. Come on. One, two, three. Woohoo! <laughs> Jumanji! Woohoo! We did it! We're safe! We didn't lose any lives either, did we? No, we didn't. That one took considerably longer though with only one dice, but that's okay.